So basically it's just got to that time of year where you can like start to see the ball flights on the driving range. I haven't actually really done much long drive practice in quite a while. I've just been hitting the gym and pulling on a bit of weight, pulling on a bit of strength. Been to France last week. And then ended up going to Leeds to see my mate to uh, went Mint Festival, got backstage. <laughs> So yeah, this is the first time, this is like the first of the winter wolf flights and this is like the time of year when you can just post like a 30 minute video here in drivers and get like 100,000 views quite easily. So I'll make sure I'll be doing that quite a bit. I'm gonna go down, I've got the skinny joggers on, so I'll probably get a lot of abuse for that with the new Callaway golf shoes. And I've got the long drive driver here as well. So we're gonna give it a hit, go through the bag, start vying, just see what's see what's happening. There's the things that I was working on with Steve Gold before I had a bit of time off. But yeah, get down and show what's going on. Pretty much got the range to ourselves. Right, so. Right, so. <laughs> Things I'm actually here. I've been a long drive driver since I've been training. I've also got a bit of strength and size on, so, so right, yeah, right. This is when you're glad no one's here. Right, golf's not a sport, mate. Need to do that. Come on. Thing is, getting your hamstrings warm. Quad. Quad now. Right, so. <laughs> it's got a few six on, so it's gonna pretty much just get starting to make contact with the ball. This is gonna get interesting, by the way, we're gonna start smashing drives. Uh, warmers. Right, this tonight is nothing. Just nothing fashionable up tonight. So now I've got to put these on. But like last year, I used to wear trainers, and it was like, yeah, I don't really have a decent pair of shoes, but. Callaway. There's only one way. Callaway. I don't think they've actually used it as a slogan yet, have they? It's a hell of a look, isn't it? If I missed a motivator. First drive of the night. This is with the normal driver. So this is the XR Speed. Oh my gosh, you just let riff over it. Yeah, I have. In nine degrees. Oh, right off the middle. Hmm. See these as a compression pad. That's what we're going with. It's not really usually enough time to get warmed up. It usually takes like 10 15 minutes. I'll do my like stuff, but um, it's pretty much going to go in from. One more set of this, the XR Speed. Do a few more looseners and then go into the full driver. See so what we've got. This is literally just a testing session today. See how much speed there is.
Right, so with Steve, the things I was talking about before were using the ground more and getting the club in a high position. So what I'm working on is taking it back faster, trying to almost feel like I'm taking the weight from the floor on the way up, and then driving into the floor and using that to like springboard, so I should be like exiting left. Almost, if it's slow-mo, so fast, up, drive it down, and then like take off and turn. <coughs> so anyway, it's getting down there with like one of these tea claws, which I need to get, because it's just stupid. So after I'm actually warm, you know, it takes like three sets of four balls to actually start to get the speed up. So we're just gonna hit a few for now. Thinking about those moves, so like straight up, down, drive through. I haven't actually had this drive before about a month. Speed feels right. Considering that's the first set. Alert seems like really off balance. <laughs> like, I'm all over the place. If I'm finishing over here, pretty much done the right thing. If you make the long drive swing properly, so you're driving up and through, that power of like the rotation and jump will have you finishing like to the left. So I've pretty much hit like three sets of warm-up balls. I'm just going to go through six balls now. And if you can get behind and try and see some ball flights. The moves feeling all right, but it's hard to say. Let's try and see what we can get. Feels good, it's like it's the first practice session I've had, so and just like the speed. It's definitely oh, it's hard to say. I mean usually after usually after spending that long away from actually swinging it hard, your speed goes down and after a few sessions the speed goes up like considerably just getting the body moving again, but that's just the first session back. That feels quite kick obviously the work in the gym. Big ones. Right, so it's here, first session done. Swing actually felt all right, speeds felt all right. So, um, so it's gonna be that now for the winter. Definitely doing a bit more swing practice. Obviously I'm working on a couple of things as well as just going through all the gym stuff that I've already talked about before. The season starts in April. So I've got a long time now to prep, but it's just one of those things where it's like, although it's four or five months, like four or five months comes around quick. And if you're not like putting in the effort, putting in the time now, it won't be long until next season's here. And I wanna put on some speed, I wanna be, um, pushing past 140s, hopefully mid 140s, so we can do and then smash next season. I'm pretty much got gonna have a sponsor lined up, gonna be doing every single event I can do on the European Long Drive Tour, maybe another tour, see what happens. But next year is gonna be big, lots of long drive events. So, time and effort now, we'll smash it.